how to make text appear slowly in Godot, letter by letter. And that's the result that we are going to achieve. As you can see in our conversation box, the letters are slowly and smoothly appearing to the player. And by clicking to the next text, the animation is played once more. It's a very cool effect and I'm going to show you how to make it in Godot with GD Script. I believe that at this point you already have the logic to show your text to the player. Because that's the issue for a whole another tutorial. And in here we'll just focus on the slowly printing out the text to the player. Don't don't be afraid of the logic here because we only just switching to the next saying with the letter E on my keyboard. And the thing that we're most focused on is here in the inspector of our label that we want to print in this exact way. And that property is called visible characters. When it's set to minus one, it will print every single character. When it's zero, it won't print anything. And just with increasing this number, we can achieve this cool effect of characters slowly appearing letter by letter. And whenever I fire the next saying, which is the function that changes the current label in the box, I've got the reference to this label. It's here. You can drop it with control to get this result but I already have this one above. And so this label dot visible characters will equal zero because when I move to the next thing that I want to say, I need to change again the visible characters to zero just to refresh it. And in here var tween will equal create tween. And here we create another tween to make the animation for our visible characters. So tween dot tween property. The first argument is the reference to the label that we want to connect our animation and the property is called visible underscore characters. And here in the third label dot get total character count will give us the number or length of the things that we want to say. So this number will be for example 30 and it knows it because above in this line I change the label the text to the thing I want to say. So whatever the message will be here, this get total character count will count the number of letters in this text. And we need that because in this twin property, the third argument is the value that we want to change our visible characters to. So at the start it's zero and it will slowly increase to the total character count. And this whole process will take one second as it's in the fourth parameter. So if I would like to make it print slowly, I would make the duration, for example, four. And also here, because that controls the debounce and the arrow to show our player that next text is ready to see. Let's run the project. And as a small explanation here, I need to add that whenever my character moves up, there is an area to D that fires the function to start the conversation. So let's move up. And here it is. The text is printing, but it's very, very slow. Four seconds to be precise. And it doesn't matter if the text is very short or very long. They both will get the four second duration to slowly appear on the screen. But instead, if you'd like to create that your longer labels are displayed slower than the short ones, we would have to tweak this fourth parameter, the duration. And we can do that like that. Let's create another variable var visible characters duration. And it will equal to our label dot get total character count. And that will be multiplied by 0 0.1. So when we've got 10 characters to show, it will take one second. But if we've got about 50 characters to show, it will take five seconds. And just paste the value here. And in my case, in here. And I've changed the values of our labels a bit to show you the different times for short text and a long one. You can run the project and move up to trigger the text. It was pretty quick. And it was longer. We can adjust it a bit to make it faster for both. And instead of 0.1, we'll make it 0.05. That way, every single character to appear will take 0.05 seconds. Let's try again. And here it is. 
short text again slow and a long one a couple times longer to fully animate. I hope that I was able to help you with your game and if you enjoyed this tutorial hit the like button, comment down below or even subscribe. Don't forget that I have lots of Godot tutorials, so to learn more about Godot hit the next video on my channel. Thank you and bye!